this is the first and most most important algorithm that we are going to learn. Okay, not only it's going to be useful for bronze, but going to be used for silver, gold for your entire journey. And this is the most basic and most intuitive mindset, the approach. When you are presented with any problem, this will be the first approach that I want you guys to think of. Okay, so complete search. It basically means that. You completely exhaust evaluating all the possibilities. So that's kind of what the complete come from. Search, searching for a solution, searching for data. Right? So that's kind of the meaning of this this terminology, complete search. And uh, sometimes you may actually heard people say brute force. That might be something that you're more familiar with. And brute force means that again you try all the possibilities, right? And for example. If you are a hacker, you try to hack into somebody's account. You know somebody's name, a username, right? Email address, and you just try to hack into the account. So what do you do? You're probably gonna just try all the possible password, right? And usually you're not gonna just you know try that manually, right? You're probably gonna like write a program to try that. You're gonna try to construct all the possible strings. Let's say that for a particular account, they have the rule. They say, you know, your password could contain all the alphabet and all the numbers and maybe a you know a bunch of uh, uh, accepted special characters, right? So if you know this, like blah blah blah, whatever. If you know like the rule of the password, and also maybe you know the length, right? The length, maybe they say, you know, it has to be at eight characters long and at most maybe 13 characters long, whatever, right? So just example, if I give you this rule and you can probably come up with all the possibilities, right? Of course, that's gonna, it's gonna be a lot of possibilities and you might write a program that's run for hours to try to get into somebody's account. So that's kind of the idea of complete search, the idea of root words, okay? And usually that will be the most naive and intuitive approach when you try to solve a problem. If you're gonna say, hmm, what if I just try all the possibilities? I'm gonna just just uh, not try to do anything smart. And maybe you you can you can you can get a real result that, that way. Okay. And here I want to mention that this naive, this is not it's not a bad word, so to speak, right? This is not how people say, hey, this person is so naive. It's kind of a little bit negative, right? So in computer science, naive doesn't really mean the naive in the real world, okay? So naive in computer science really means like, you know, I'm just going to try uh, the most intuitive approach to try, try, out, try out everything. So that's called naive, okay? That's really a, a thing in computer science, okay? It's not say somebody is naive, okay? And sometimes it's not a search. Search means that you're trying to like look for a, let's say I have an array of integer, right? I ask you to look for some particular element and that's really a search, okay? So it could be a search, but it may or may not be a search because maybe you're just trying to find out the solution, which is not really uh, kind of the scientific definition of search because when we talk about search, we usually is talking about you search for particular data from a collections of data, okay? So complete search may not have a, a set of data that you work with. Maybe you just kind of look for a solution in an open-ended way. It doesn't really give you like a, a finite set of things for you to choose from, okay? It's not, it may not be like that. Maybe, maybe not, okay? Even though the name is complete search. Okay, try all possibilities. So for example, right, if I give you an array, this is an array of integer, I, I want you to solve a simple problem to tell me, does this array contain a number four? Right, so what do you do? You, you just have to go through the entire, uh, entire array. You're gonna compare number four with each and every single element, right? There's really no, way, no other way around it. Right, that's pretty much what you do. So that's kind of example of complete search. Okay, so very intuitive, nothing fancy, but it's actually very useful because it can actually allow you to solve a lot of problems. Uh, another example is if I ask you to find what will be the maximum, the largest number 
out of array. So what do you do? Is that you have the largest number could be any of this number, right? And you're gonna just try out all these numbers and you do your comparison and you have to go through entire collections of data before you find your largest number from the entire collection. So that's really the mindset of complete search. Any questions so far? Okay, so the examples, right? So this is what I was just talking about. And hopefully you guys kind of get a concept of complete search. You probably think, oh, this is so easy. And yeah, but it, it is kind of intuitive. That's why this is the first algorithm that, that we learn. And, but that's really very foundational, okay? And now before we get into, get into the first musical problem, I want to talk about this. This is another basic building block for musical or for any competitive programming is that we need to be able to understand how fast or how slow your algorithm is. 